Mosier 1 was the first ever motion-based measuring device, but right here in the palm of my hand, I have the next evolution in motion-based measuring, which is Mosier 2 Pro. I'm going to give you a demo, pop it in its enclosure like so. Turning it on these days is really easy. I hold it up there vertically, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, come back to the middle, and on it comes just like that. Launch the app, go into close shape, red light comes on, place it down nice and gently, and when it goes green, oh, I've done it that quickly, I'm going to capture my first edge. So just go along here, placing it down every 6 to 8 seconds. I like to place it down in the green, going into the amber. Look what happens when I come all the way out here and I arc back in, make a little wriggle, place it down. You're going to see that even though I've taken the scenic route around, it's not a straight line measurement because by default when you launch Mosier, straight line path type is the one that's selected. Let's come to the end. Now, we got different path types, which is great. So like up here, it's more of an arc, so I'm going to scroll across to arc three points is what we need i got one let's get my second point and this is what i like about Mosier is you got different path types that would be more applicable or suitable to the space that's coming out in front of you so it could be in a regular or complex shape and therefore it's enabling this space to my mind to be more accurately measured there you go we've got a beautiful well-defined arc let me just for the purpose show you trace so i just trace every edge along here right into the corner capturing every millimeter there you go back to straight line and then let's go straight across and see how far i can get in six to eight seconds traveling i don't know about 40 foot place it down nice and easy what's that 40 okay 41 feet again let's go straight line and I'm not crash landing it. I'm placing it down nice and gently. This is an electronic device after all, just go back into trace. So I wouldn't be smashing my phone down in the ground or anything like that. I'd be placing it down nice and gently. This is a sensitive but very powerful motion-based measuring device. Let's go back to straight line. There we go. Every corner, every angle, every edge it's being captured with all these different path types. I can even edit these path types afterwards as well. We got demos and tutorials online that will show you exactly how to do that. And let's just come, this is where I started, place it down nice and easy again. And then press that big red button in the middle. And then as soon as I'm finished, you can see that I've, that Mosier wasn't just measuring, it was drawing simultaneously concurrently this whole space to give me by the end all of the individual measurements on there but the total perimeter and it gives me the total the square footage as well now you could be forgiven for thinking that it's just done a 2d measurement of this whole space but if i just go into my 3d icon and pan around you can see can you see that i've got the lie of the land i've got all the grades the elevations are on there and what i'll do is let me just select Zero, zero, zero is where I started. Z refers to the elevation. If I come up here to the top and select a point up there, that's seven foot. If I wanted to corroborate or check the rise and fall on that, let's go back to where I started, go across to my cross section tool. Um, I should select a point first, sorry about that. Select my first point, cross section tool, select a point up there. And you can see I got the length, the rise and the run cross-section gives me the gradient as well just very quickly now as well as this let me pop back into 2d I'm going to save this for you continue and call it demo M for Mosier 2 P for Pro give it a number save so quick to save we also have a circular garden bed just right there behind you that was laid out earlier with Mosier 2 Pro and I'll show you how layout works on this in a little while. But I want to show you how you can integrate that shape into this overall shape for it to be orientated and overlaid correctly. We use a feature on Mosier called layers. So I'm going to launch that, add a layer. Light's gone red again. It's so quick, so snappy. I love it when everything clicks. Green light's good to go. I capture a second point along this first edge. 
Two points anywhere along that first edge will do. Place it down. Great. Make my way up to the circle. And if I can't make it there in time, just going to place it down. Chill out. That's done. You see, it's not actually drawing anything. Because when you launch layers, ignore line is activated. So it's not drawing anything, which is exactly what I want. So now my path type is going to be circle. So I've got one point. I need three for circle to work. Let's go over to this one. Watch what happens in the third point. We got a nice, well-defined circle. Three or more will do. I can do another one so you can see what happens. It's drawing a best fit circle through all of these points that I'm capturing. Now this is going to be a garden bed. We're going to want estimates for how much mulch composting material that goes in there. So the surface area will be very valuable. So before I press stop, we have another supercharged feature on here that will do a 3D terrain map of this space. It'll work on a little space like this or a big long space as well. So I'm going to scroll across the points and just capture a few points in here. I don't need many because the ground doesn't undulate or go up or down. Normally you would capture a point anywhere there's an elevation change. Just for the purpose of this demo, I'll show you and capture a few points. Three. I'll get one more just so you can see. It's so quick, so easy. Go back to where I started. Press stop. The whole process is so efficient. Draws and measures at the same time. And now not only do I have, you know, 2D measurements and 3D measurements, lengths, rise, fall, grades, elevations, all that kind of a thing. If I just, what I'll do is I'll just, I can deactivate the first layer that I got so we can focus in and zero in on this layer which is the circle, zoom in, we've got our perimeter, let's go to this icon which is the total surface area, can you see that, see those points in the middle that I captured, now if I go to edit, cut and fill, I can move the slider left or right, come on that is so cool, you can see all the numbers changing for my excavation numbers, how much material I need to take out, or maybe to fill, to put in like so, but more relevant is I'll use the depth tool, come down a few inches, just for dramatic effect, they'll come down about 21 inches and you can see how much volume of material that I need to put in there for a garden bed. We've got contours on there as well if I zoom in. In fact, what I'll do for contours is I'll come back out and I'll show you, let's activate the original layer. You can see how contours looks on there. Go to 2D. Now here I am outside in the field and let's say customer wanted this information straight away. I can go to, well I'll save it first, but I go to file, export. I can export it to PDF. Now PDF has never been more customizable. I can, you know, print this off to a scale of 1 to 1 if I really want to dial in and get make it really precise or maybe 1 to 500 for more of a grand design kind of a feel. It prints out like in a full scale um, grid. You've got an accurate scale bar on there. All the numbers, all the dimensions are very clear, very um, got, got clarity on there. Um, I can go to preview so you can see what it looks like before you even print off, before you even send it to a customer, ensuring it a professional look. You can export to CAD programs, uh, Vectorworks, AutoCAD, uh, SketchUp Pro and so on, so on. Uh, in formats of DWG and DXF. You got your CSV points if you wanted to plot those coordinates also. Uh, you can export to PNG, JPEG, and you've also got M file if you needed to send it to another user. So uh, what else I wanted to show you? Oh yeah, so you saw me measuring and putting the device down every six to eight seconds, but now with Mojo 2 Pro, because it's got a brand new X2 Pro inertial sensor engine in here, that means that this device combined with Mosier's motion-based measuring technology, it makes it up to 99.7% more accurate, which is up to 50% reduction in error compared to Mosier 1. This allows it some more new exclusive features like dynamic intervals. Like I said, I placed it on every six to eight seconds previously, but now 
I can actually choose to increase that pause, the pauses between the points to, let's say 12 to 16. I go into, uh, let me select the cog in the upper right hand corner. I go to measuring options and can you see what it says measuring time? I currently have it on highest accuracy, but I can have it on longest time. 12 to 16 seconds, press continue. Let's see how 12 to 16 seconds looks. Let's just start here. I'm not really measuring anything, but just so you can see. Let's do an open shape, which you would use for fencing, let's say. Let's say we're putting fencing in from this point up there. Let's see how far I can go in 12 to 16 seconds. That light's gone green, off we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. See how fast I can go. Not the spring chicken I used to be, but we're still going and we're still going. Will this thing ever end? Okay, I'll place it down now. And we have, I've gone about 93 foot. Where are you, cameraman? There you are. I've gone about 93 foot in one measurement and that's using dynamic intervals. And now you have flexibility in your pauses between points and you can, you know, you can dial in if you want to go six to eight seconds or 12 to 16. Another exclusive feature to Mojo 2 Pro is the fact that the battery life is up to 10 hours of continuous use. So you can go from dawn till dusk if you want. That's more than enough time for continuous measuring. Well, layout mode is another uh, feature that's on there. Let me show you how that works. So I'm going to stop that measurement. Let's come over here and I'll show you layout mode. Let's say we're setting down um, a port cabin that's going in this space. So I'm going to pick up some cones from our markers. And again, Mojo 2 Pro is already on, it's still activated. I'm gonna to go to layout as you can see on the screen. And I've got some CSV points that I've already imported. I could even punch these coordinates in. Um, these aren't GPS coordinates or anything like that. These are X, Y coordinates. They're all relevant, re relative to an origin point of zero, zero. Um, I'll explain more as I go along. So I'm gonna launch that CSV file. I can preview that. I can see what it's going to look like. That's all good to me. I'm going to press continue. Now I need to orientate my phone in the direction of travel that I'm going to be going in. Obviously, I guess. Done, because that's all good. The light's going to go green so quick. And then on I go. Place it down somewhere over here. That's great. Now immediately, as soon as I place my device down, it's redirecting me. Layout mode is directing me to find my target, which is somewhere behind me. So I'm just gonna place that marker down and make my way over here, which I think, let's see how spatially aware I am. Place it down about here, 18.5 feet. Okay, I'm 1.9 foot out. And this is what I like about layout mode is it's taking me by the hand and it's directing me to predefined points. And even if I miss the target, like I have here by a few inches, it's readjusting, redirecting me inch by inch till I hit the target, which I've just done now. Let's place it down here, and then it's telling me to move off in this direction. All the while I'm keeping my phone parallel to that first reference line that I did. I'm 1.1 foot off. That's because I've got the locking function on. If I had the locking function off, I would actually rotate the phone in the direction of the arrow. So you have that option. There's no right or wrong way, whatever suits your own needs. So it's telling me to go back this way. So if you're Let's follow Mosher. I just do as I'm told. Place it down maybe about here, 11.7 foot. I reckon I'm out a bit, 2.4. 6.5 inches, so close. There we go, sorry about my shaky hand. I haven't had my porridge this morning, my oats. Let's move over here. I think about here. And you know, 6.5 inches. Mosier 2 Pro and layout mode, it's doing, there you go, hit the target straight away, then tells me to go back to the start, which was here. It's doing all the heavy lifting. It's doing all the thinking for me. I just have to make sure that I guess I don't fall over myself. So layout mode is literally is I punch in some coordinates, I follow some arrows, I put my markers down, and boom, touchdown, success, it's done. The interface for this is so intuitive, it's so easy to understand. Uh, it makes laying out, setting out, staking out, 
so quick, so efficient, so easy using Mosier 2 Pro.